Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here, Morbid Team Entertainment and Bullets Repair Philippines. Okay, the difference between a non-Rex Bolex, such as this D8L, and a Reflex Bolex, such as a P2, right here, one thing is the diopter. As you can see here, this is not adjustable, okay? Here, the diopter is adjustable. That's one big difference right there, okay? So let's move on to other things. The next are the lenses. With a Bolex P2 and this series, what you can do is you can pick them up, focus it, and basically what you see is what you get. All right? However, this is not so with a non-Rex D8L and 8mm pocket cameras of Bolex of the like. Let's explore that. With both cameras, essentially, an exiconic exposure meter and tape measure are needed to set correct focus and exposure. The next thing that needs to be done with a non-Rex 8mm pocket Bolex is you need to select the lens that you're going to use. I've selected this one. I only have it removed for the sake of the video. And you need to rotate this three ring tear it so I need to rotate it to the take position the take position is where you're going to film at through the gate and that would be right here right there okay so also what I'll do is I'll go ahead and screw the lens back on there again I just had the lens removed and screwed it back on just to show the take position of the lens on the, on the camera you do not need to do that. Just keep it on there. All you want to do is this. Select the lens you want to use. So I'm going to use this 36 millimeter right here. You can look into the barrel of the lens and read right there, 36 millimeter. All right. Once you have that established, turn the Bolex over to its side. And you want to take your attention to this dial right here. All right. So right here it's set at 25, you don't want that, what you want to do is take it and turn it all the way up to 36, just like so. Alright, so let you take a look at that, there you are, 36. So now everything is set between your dial and the lens that's going to be used. And by the way, just a tip, once you've set your viewfinder focus control here, this knob, and let's say that you're going for 12.5, all right? So you get to it and you find out that it just won't turn. All right, you don't want to try to force it anymore because it's not going to go any further. When you get to this point, it just simply means you have to get, turn it the other way because it doesn't go any further. And you have to turn it that way, okay? Just like when you get this far, it's not going to go any further now, all right? So you simply turn it back. And you're set, with the exception of setting your frames per second dial right here. All right, so just set that. I've got it set at 16. Set it whatever you please. Moving on. Okay, so let me go ahead and set the 36 millimeter lens right here into the take position here. So the take position is right here for the 36 millimeter lens where the uh, what we're going to film okay and that's what you would film if you'd be filming something so now with the exception of setting your exposure and footage on the cameras you're ready to film all right but there's more to it than that you want to know what actually is going on inside the viewfinders of the non-rex and the reflex of these cameras. 
So, when this focus control knob is set to whatever lens that you're using, the focus control knob adjusts the viewfinder inside accordingly. So what about the Bolex 8mm pocket model P series, in particular the Reflex P2 lens? Well, let's get into that. So we can see the back of it here. And this is just starting here. This is just a cover, but I'm going to take this off for you anyway, just to show you. It's just a cover just to protect some of the system. That's all it is. Alright, that came off easily. Generally these things sometimes don't if they're rusted, but I do what I can to keep my cameras up to date. Servicing. If you can learn how to do this stuff yourself, it's really best. Alright, there's the second one. So what you do is you simply lift this off. Nothing fancy. Okay, there you are. It's just a cover. Okay. I'll turn this around for you so you can see it. And that's it. You do have some screws. Okay. So you basically have this hex and you've got this flathead right down here at the end of my pencil eraser and you get another flathead up in here but flathead there but once you start getting into this if you want to, fine. If you don't, it's best to stay away from it. And I believe the Bolex manuals will tell you not to go deep into here unless you know what you're doing. But at any rate, this is part of the reflex system. Okay? So. Gonna remove this screw. Not yet. There we are. Turn it around. This one. right now there we go let's hold up next this screw
Got it. That one's out. Right there. Next, what you want to do is remove the lens from this silver turret. And also, you want to take this part of the reflex system as well. Careful with it. All right. So, you want to turn the lens toward you or the uh, turret away from you. Whichever way you choose, you just don't want to drop or damage this part. Alright? So, just start turning this. And when you do this, under here, you're going to have a washer. that's going to be under here. And this black part, get my hand around it, I want to show you, is going to come off. There's a, this black ring here is threaded and that is what the lens is threaded into and it's going to separate from the lens and the turret okay and even if you drop it and you can't at first figure out how it's going to go back on it only goes on one way essentially all right so you can relax on that part so i'm turning this i'm going to keep this close to the table And when you get to the end of removing the lens, you'll have to kind of pull it a little bit, maybe. Sometimes they're on a little tight. Remember the last time these things were, were probably removed when it was at the manufacturer. Okay. All right, mine came off. That's it. So I have the lens here. All right. Part of the reflex system here. I have this ring that fits on top of here, okay, just like that, all right, so that's how that fits on there, that ring fits on there just like that, okay, then it would go through here turn this back around where can I find there I am right there that hole there for the reflex system all right see your glass elements slide it back install it in there just like so. And then you want to find the threads. Then this part with the threads. Threads are aiming down one way. Let me see where they are with my old man eyes. Ah! And that fits into there. And that's it. Alright. So I'm going to take this apart again. For you. There's the washer, there's the lens, part of the reflex system, threaded ring, and the turret. So, you can see of all the parts that are going into the reflex P system right there, okay? There you go. Here's deep down inside of there. This has to be your image guided from the body, from the viewfinder, through the body, through this piece of the glass elements, okay, and vice versa, through the lens here. And that is a reflex system. And there we go. In order to be a reflex system, you have the lens here and 
it has to be attached to the viewfinder. So, yeah, the reflex prism system is attached to the lens, and that is attached to the viewfinder, which is attached to all the way through to the diopter. Just like so. And there we have it. This way, everything that's being filmed is going straight from the viewpoint of what's being filmed to the lens all the way up through here through this prism system of reflex through a transport prism essentially through the viewfinder to your eye to the diopter making it a reflex viewing system so what you have here is a series of glass element prisms to make the reflex system operate uh, one tip I do want to share with you whoever is doing this with their P series lens. Uh, it's good to do it, take it apart like this sometimes to a certain degree to clean it. There can be rust and corrosion inside as well as fungus. These two screws, when you go to put it back together, one and two, this reflex system right here, the casing is plastic. So when you go put the screws back on, don't put them on too tight. Okay, just put them on fairly just fairly snugly, not too tight at all, otherwise you'll crack this housing. So you're probably saying, well, explain the non-reflex version of the Bolex 8mm pocket model. Well, you're looking through your viewfinder, but that's it. It is a non-reflex viewfinder. You're looking through that, and that's the extent of it right there. And this also is an exposure meter. You can take this thing off, and if you do, it's a real pain in the neck to get it back on. I've done it to service them. They're really irritating. They got a lot of small parts, but you're just looking straight from the back of here, right here, straight through here. That's it. If you'll notice, I can open up the door here. There's no prism system that's connected to this. So look again. There's no reflex prism system connected to this viewfinder at all. Whatsoever. The diopter doesn't adjust. It's straightforward. There's no transport prism or series of prism that captures the image from the lens to the take position through the shutter and travels straight up through here at the viewfinder. And you can see it. There's nothing here. All right, so that's it. This is a non-reflex camera and of the like series. Okay, do contact me at the social media outlets provided on the screen. And as always, do subscribe. Until next time, see ya.